This is the most difficult captaincy selection so far this season, where we've not had Holland available. So on the shortlist this game week is Son against Bournemouth. They've had a poor defence in the past couple of seasons, but more recently, they've tightened up at the back. In fact, in the last eight game weeks, they've had the second best defence in the whole league. Next up is Seller against Newcastle. They've had a good defence in the past couple of seasons. However, more recently, they are leaking plenty of goals at the back. And lastly is Alvarez against Sheffield United. They've got the worst defence in the whole league so far this season. They've got the highest expected goals conceded figure and the most goals conceded as well. All three players on the shortlist this game week have the home advantage. We'll start by taking a look at the non-penalty stats per 90 minutes for this season. It's Son who's got the highest output, but he is shortly followed by Salah, and Salah's got the more promising underlying stats, which means that his stats are more sustainable. As for Alvarez, it's not a good start. He is factored into the calculations that he only gets 4 points for every goal, and that's registered for the XG as well, but that does seem to go against him a lot more than his teammate Haaland. Now he might need to take these stats with a pinch of salt because he has been playing further away from goal when holland has been playing and that's included in most of these stats. For example, in the last three matches, his output's improved, his underlying stats are more promising as well. That's because he's in a striker position. Not only that, in Holland's absence, he is on penalty duties as well. That's no advantage over the other two players on the shortlist because they're the dedicated penalty takers for their respective clubs as well but this is the kind of thing that got him on the shortlist ahead of Watkins. He is a bit of a set-piece specialist in the absence of De Bruyne as well. He's on direct free kicks, indirect free kicks and corners. As for Son, he's on direct free kicks. He doesn't take indirect free kicks or corners. Salah takes the occasional direct free kick, but that's quite rare. There are players ahead of him in the pecking order. It's Alvarez who's got the highest anytime goal scorer odds this game week. He's also got the highest anytime assist odds which is quite impressive for a forward when the other two players are midfielders. Therefore, he's got the highest chance of returning and the lowest chance of blanking. To be fair, he does only get four points for every goal scored. The other two players get five points for every goal scored because of the midfielders. So the weighted odds are actually quite similar between the three of them. It is undeniable that Alvarez has the highest points projection this game week with a figure of 7.5 on FPL review. However, he's also got the lowest figure with 5.5 on Fantasy Football Fix. Both websites completely disagree this game week. Fix have got Son, Salah, then Alvarez in that order, and Review have got them in reverse order of Alvarez, Salah, Son. By comparing the opposition's defence, we can see that Alvarez has by far got the easiest fixture. Sheffield United have got the worst defensive numbers in the whole league. That's something I mentioned earlier on in the video, and you can visualise that now as well. It's unsurprising that there's a 97% chance that Sheffield United won't keep a clean sheet at the Etihad. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen 3% clean sheet odds before. As for the other two players, it really does depend what narrative you go for. Newcastle's defence has been poor recently, but been solid for the past couple of seasons overall. And it's been the other way around for Son's opponents, Bournemouth. More recently, they've tightened up at the back. But for the past couple of seasons, they've had one of the worst defences in the whole league. Whilst we're on the topic of defences, it's worth noting that Son and Salah as midfielders have the potential to get a clean sheet point. For Liverpool and Salah, that's 33%. For Spurs and Son, that's 24%. So it is unfavourable for either of them to get clean sheet points, but the potential is there, and that is a slight advantage in itself. Before we conclude, we're going to carry out a quick risk assessment. Salah's got an advantage over the other two players. He's had more than twice as many recovery days. However, he's not got an advantage over his opponents because Newcastle have also had six resting days as well. It's not ideal that Son and Alvarez are just short of three recovery days, but I don't think it will hurt the minutes too much. You can see a slight drop in the expected minutes, but they're not far off 90. Whilst this video is being recorded, Spurs are currently playing against Brighton and Son probably will play near 90 minutes and I'm expecting to play near 90 minutes in the next match as well. He does typically play around about that. Even if he gets subbed off, it's really late on. And as for Alvarez, he's played 90 minutes for all three Premier League matches since Holland's got injured, and that's in a congested period, so he should play around about 90 minutes himself. Salah's also featured for 90 minutes in his last four matches. That's not surprising with his expected minutes though. Now it's time to announce the player that I think is the best captain. I don't think there's much to split them this game week. If Holland was available, he'd outright blitz them all, I think. I don't think Alvarez is that far behind Holland, and he's playing against the worst defence in the whole league. Therefore, 
I think he's got the highest attacking upside this game week and he's going to be my captain. If you don't own Alvarez, I could easily pick any of the other two players for captain. But for me, I would go for Salah because his underlying stats are more reliable. If you found this video informative, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos like this.